Good morning. Welcome to the live streaming of morning prayer at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church, Tequesta, Florida, on this Friday, the 3rd of July, 2020. My name is Ian Anderson, and I am a member of the Good Shepherd Daily Office team, the ministry that brings you morning and evening prayer. To download the service leaflet for this morning's service, go to goodshepvirtual.org. Click on Prayer and Study and look for today's date. This service will also be available beginning at 10 a.m. on Good Shepherd's YouTube channel. So if you have friends who would like to experience morning prayer at Good Shepherd, just have them go to youtube.com and search on Good Shepherd to Cuesta. Today is the statutory holiday for Independence Day, which falls tomorrow. And during our period of prayer today, I will uh, recite the Collect for Independence Day. <clears throat> if I were to do a little theological reflection on that right now, I think we should reflect that it is much, uh, <clears throat> we should reflect that we are as much interdependent as dependent insofar as we're dependent on one another's behavior for the slowing of the viral spread that is coming against us. And in the economy, we're interdependent. We're dependent upon one another's work in order for uh, the rest of us to, to work productively as well. And when major parts of the economy fall apart, then uh, it hurts all of us, not just those who are out of work. So a little bit of interdependence on this Independence Day. I will celebrate the statutory holiday today uh, <clears throat> with a recording session. So uh, today is the day that uh, I'll be recording the uh, tenor part in our service music for the next uh, month or so. So uh, I'll, be, I'll be getting my uh, microphone and, uh, uh, and my recording set up, uh, put up as soon as we get off the air today. So good morning, Karen, good to see you. Good morning, Pam. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Wendy. And good morning, Jesse. Good to see you all here this morning. So why don't we get started? Thus says the high and lofty one who inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place and also with the one who has a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, to set forth his praise, to hear his holy word, and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others those things which are necessary for our life and our salvation and so that we may prepare ourselves in heart and mind to worship him. Let us kneel in silence and with penitent and obedient hearts confess our sins, that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done, and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, let us adore him. Our invitatory psalm this morning is a portion of Psalm 95. 
the venite exultamus domino. We will say the venite together in unison. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord, our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, let us adore him. The Psalms appointed for this morning are Psalms number 140 and 142. We will say the Psalms together in unison. <clears throat> Deliver me, O Lord, from evildoers. Protect me from the violent, who devise evil in their hearts and stir up strife all the day long. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Adder's poison is under their lips. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Protect me from the violent who are determined to trip me up. The proud have hidden a snare for me and stretched out a net of cords. They have set traps for me along the path. I have said to the Lord, you are my God. Listen, O Lord, to my supplication. O Lord God, the strength of my salvation, you have covered my head in the day of battle. Do not grant the desires of the wicked, O Lord, nor let their evil plans prosper. Let not those who surround me lift up their heads. Let the evil on their lips overwhelm them. Let hot burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the mire, never to rise up again. A slanderer shall not be established on the earth, and evil shall hunt down the lawless. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the poor and render justice to the needy. Surely the righteous will give thanks to your name, and the upright shall continue in your sight. I cry to the Lord with my voice. To the Lord I make loud supplication. I pour out my complaint before him and tell him all my trouble. When my spirit languishes within me, you know my path. In the way wherein I walk, they have hidden a trap for me. I look to my right hand and find no one who knows me. I have no place to flee to and no one cares for me. I cry out to you, O Lord. I say, you are my refuge my portion in the land of the living. Listen to my cry for help, for I have been brought very low. Save me from those who pursue me, for they are too strong for me. Bring me out of prison, that I may give thanks to your name. When you have dealt bountifully with me, the righteous will gather around me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading from Numbers continues the story of Belom and Belak, and this is the third of four oracles of Belom. I believe it's the last we'll hear of these two because uh, it concludes the story on the weekend. So here we go. Now Belam saw that it pleased the Lord to bless Israel, so he did not go, as at other times, to look for omens, but set his face toward the wilderness. Belam looked up and saw Israel camping tribe by tribe. Then the Spirit of God came upon him, and he uttered his oracle, saying, The oracle of Belam, son of Baor the oracle of the man whose eye is clear, the
the oracle of one who hears the words of God, who sees the vision of the Almighty, who falls down, but with eyes uncovered. How fair are your tents, O Jacob, your encampments, O Israel, like palm groves that stretch far away, like gardens beside a river, like aloes that the Lord has planted, like cedar trees beside the waters. Water shall flow from his buckets, and his seed shall have abundant water. His king shall be higher than Agag, and his kingdom shall be exalted. God, who brings him out of Egypt, is like the horns of a wild ox for him. He shall devour the nations that are his foes and break their bones. He shall strike them with his arrows. He crouched, he lay down like a lion, and like a lioness, who will rouse him up? Blessed is everyone who blesses you, and cursed is everyone who curses you. Then Belak's anger was kindled against Belam, and he struck his hands together. Belak said to Belam, I summoned you to curse my enemies, but instead you have blessed them these three times. Now be off with you, go home. I said, I will reward you richly, but the Lord has denied you any reward. And Belam said to Belak, Did I not tell you your messengers? Did I not tell your messengers whom you sent to me? If Belak should give me his house full of silver and gold, I would not be able to go beyond the word of the Lord, to do either good or bad by my own will. What the Lord says, that is what I will say. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our Old Testament canticle this morning is a song of praise, which we will say in unison. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty, Glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you beholding the depths in the high vault of heaven. Glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Our New Testament reading continues in the Gospel according to Matthew. Uh, this is the famous uh, 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 scene in which Jesus is uh, accosted by his enemies about the temple tax. And as in the King James Bible, he, reply, he replies, render unto Caesar that which is Caesar's and render unto God that which is God's. So a reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Then the Pharisees went and plotted to entrap Jesus in what he said. So they sent their disciples to him, along with the Herodian, saying, Teacher, we know that you are sincere, and teach the way of God in accordance with truth, and show deference to no one, for you do not regard the people with partiality. Tell us then what you think. Is it lawful to pay taxes to the emperor or not? But Jesus, aware of their malice, said, Why are you putting me to the test, you hypocrites? Show me the coin used for the tax. And they brought him a denarius, which is a standard day's wages for a laborer. Then he said to them, Whose head is this? and whose title? They answered, the emperor's. He said to them, give therefore to the emperor 
the things that are the emperor's and give to God the things that are God's. When they heard this, they were amazed and they left him and went away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This morning's New Testament canticle is number 18 in our prayer book, Dignus S, A Song to the Lamb. Let us say the canticle together in unison. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so, to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. Let us confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The Collect of the Day for Proper Eight. Almighty God, you have built your church upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Grant us so to be joined together in unity of spirit by their teaching, that we may be made a holy temple acceptable to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A Collect for Independence Day. Lord God Almighty, in whose name the founders of this country won liberty for themselves and for us, and lit the torch of freedom for nations yet unborn, grant that we and all the people of this land may have grace to maintain our liberties and righteousness and peace. 
through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A Collect for Fridays. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And a collect for the mission of Good Shepherd. Loving God, you sent your only Son, Jesus Christ, that we might have hope of eternal life and the Holy Spirit to sustain us in our faith in you. Give us grace to be a beacon of that faith, hope, and love in this community, that we may radiate the transforming power of your love to everyone everywhere, who live and reign together, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And our Friday prayer for mission. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us with your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you. For the honor of your name. Amen. At this time, we invite your prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving, either shared with all through the comments box or held in the silence of your hearts. Good morning, Joan. Good to see you this morning. Good morning, Debbie. You were on the line earlier. I I mentioned that today I will be recording my tenor part for the music that you shared. Uh, good morning, Octavia, and good morning, Lydia. And yes, blessings to all on this Independence Day weekend. I don't have anything that is truly red, white, and blue, but I thought this festive shirt, which is mainly white with blue bicycles and very, very red piping, would be appropriate for the occasion. What more celebratory than a fun shirt, right? Okay, and Jesse, happy 4th of July weekend, everyone. Um, given that it's the 4th of July, why don't we pray the prayer for our country? Almighty God, you have given us this good land for our heritage. We humbly pray that you that we may always prove ourselves a people mindful of your favor and glad to do your will. Bless our land with honorable industry, sound learning, and pure manners. Save us from violence, discord, and confusion, from pride and arrogance, and from every evil way. Defend our liberties and fashion into one united people the multitudes brought hither out of many kindreds and tongues. Endue with the spirit of wisdom those to whom in your name we entrust the authority of government, that there may be justice and peace at home, and that, through obedience to your law, we may show forth your praise among the nations of the earth. In the time of prosperity, fill our hearts with thankfulness, and in the day of trouble, Suffer not our trust in you to fail. All of which we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And also on this Independence Day, let us remember those who put their lives on the line for our freedom uh, on a daily basis. So let us pray for those in the armed forces of our country. Almighty God, we commend to your gracious care and keeping all the men and women of our armed forces at home and abroad. Defend them day by day with your heavenly grace. Strengthen them in their trials and temptations. Give them courage to face the perils which beset them and grant them a sense of your abiding presence wherever they may be. 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And yes, Karen, let us pray for safe travels for Karen as she travels for, to her summer home and a safe car trip for Debbie and Judy this Sunday to see uh, Debbie's cousin Connie in Jacksonville. So this is the prayer for travelers. O oh God, our heavenly Father, whose glory fills the whole creation, and whose presence we find wherever we go. Preserve those who travel, surround them with your loving care, protect them from every danger, and bring them in safety to their journey's end. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And let us pray for families and not least our parish family, which is something that sustains me a great deal in my life right now. And it's something that I think we all should embrace. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you set the solitary in families, including parish families. We commend your continual care, the homes in which your people dwell. Put far from them, we beseech you every root of bitterness, the desire of vainglory, and the pride of life. Fill them with faith, virtue, knowledge, temperance, patience, godliness. Knit together in constant affection those who, in holy wedlock, have been made one flesh. Turn the hearts of the parents to the children, and the hearts of the children to the parents and so enkindle fervent charity among us all, that we may evermore be kindly affectioned one to another. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Let us continue with the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, be all honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Thank you, Patty. Blessings for Jerry and Karen. I also would mention that uh, a year ago on this date, I was uh, traveling in, in a caravan, in a van, with uh, 14 teenagers, myself, uh, Beth Bonesack, and Richard Morey, on the way back from our mission trip to the Keys. So this is somewhat of an anniversary. Uh, we stopped uh, in Key West for our fun day, but, uh, we fled Key West because of a uh, uh, tremendous uh, thunderstorm that was impending. And uh, we originally planned on having dinner there, but we uh, ended, ended up having dinner, I think, in uh, Boynton Beach. Uh, but in any event, this is something of an anniversary for me. And sort of the last anniversary from last year when I was the leader of the youth group. So in any event, now I'm, I'm just a humble helper. So. Uh, a prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life 
everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, everybody, for joining me for morning prayer on this uh, eve of Independence Day. Have a blessed holiday weekend. I know that as we uh, are being forced inside once again by circumstances and not allowed to go to the beach, for example, on this uh, weekend, that it can be frustrating. So uh, let me just say in closing of this week, uh, Many people are facing their own frustrations these days. It's a lot of stress and anxiety amongst people. So let us be kind to one another uh, as we move forward. And um, just love your neighbor. Give your neighbor the benefit of the doubt. Uh, return kindness for uh, snippiness if necessary. Uh, uh, and, and just be kind. So. Uh, have a great weekend, and I look forward to seeing you next week.